So it's been, I think, three years um, since I did the Jeep conversion to air suspension, so it's time for another project. So this is a 96 F-150 4x4. Um, so this is gonna get converted to air suspension front and back. The reason I got this one is obviously it looks pretty good it is pretty good but underneath it's immaculate it's it looks like it's rolled off the uh, the factory floor obviously putting this much effort into the suspension you don't want to be welded onto um you know crappy uh, a crappy chassis so this one this one is really good underneath um, spotless in fact so these have the twin traction beam front suspension which gets a lot of criticism and in my view unfairly because it's quite a good system but unfortunately it's from the factory it's very limited they have a very short radius arm and they have a ridiculously short stroke shock exhaust this one's got the twin shocks as you can see when i measured it i found that actually you only get just just over four inches of travel which seems ridiculous the shock is limited the shortest shock is limited to four and a half inches so with a bit of figuring out i reckon you can get this to about eight and a half nine inches of travel using the airbags so i'll talk you through what i've got set up and how i've done it so far so if you look over here uh, what i'm going to use these are the airbags these are the firestone 5423s these are the same ones i used on the ram uh, 2500 rear that i did uh, probably about five years ago now um, they compress down to about five inches uh, and they've got about 10 inches of stroke. To mount them, uh, I fabricated these brackets. I did this a couple of weekends ago. Um, <clears throat> so I removed the, the spring perch and the shock perch, uh, measured this up and, and I, I said we fabricated this uh, a couple of weekends ago and then got it powder coated. Um, so obviously the spring sits into the, the the airbag sits inside this. I've put this at an angle of about six degrees, so the 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 airbag will actually point down six degrees, and that'll match the lower mount, and it'll compress so that the bump stops. These have integral bump stops at five inches, and I've set it so that it'll I'll retain the inboard bump stops that I have on the on the chassis uh, with the bump stops on these, so they'll bottom out at the same time. Um, next to the, these are going to be the shock mounts, these are the upper shock mounts, the low shock mounts are going to be on the radius arm, I'll show you in a minute, so fabricated these uh, yesterday, um, haven't drilled them yet, going to figure out exactly what position to put them on so they match a set of Bilstein shocks which I'll be getting. The uh, <coughs> radius arms, these were the ones I ended up buying, these were I making them. Um, thinking I could buy them for less than I can make them for. These ones are the Pro Comp ones. I figured these were probably the best quality. Um, they're about 15 inches longer uh, stroke than the stock ones. And if you look at the top, they've got a they've got a curve on them, so it clears the wheel so you'll still have full wheel travel. I was going to manufacture the the uh, the mounting points. Um, Pro Comp reused the stock ones, but they're really crappy sheet metal. Um, and it would also mean that the, um, <clears throat> the, the tip down, and I, I actually came across these when I was looking on the internet. These are uh, one up half road um, traction bar mounts, which you can buy individually. Um, and I thought these would be perfect. They'll mount that mid middle of the chassis. Um, and what I was really surprised about is the stock uh, bushings for the stock radius arms actually fit in these absolutely standard um, so no no messing about needed these are really good quality products uh, really impressed with those um, so that's pretty much everything these are the lower mounts obviously these haven't been painted yet um, the idea is to get these positioned right there'll be a bit of fine tuning but that will mount that way around uh, on top of the traction beam. Um, sorry, the uh, the uh, the front axle. That'll be mounted on the top, welded in place. I need to move it either forward, back, in and out, just to fine tune it to make sure it's right. And that is about it, I think. Um, I'll do another video when I get this stuff installed and you can see how it looks. 
and then it's Thanksgiving this week, so that's why I'm doing it this week. These parts have all been made the last couple of weeks. And then at Christmas, I'll put the air system on. I'll do another video for that. Um, got to mount two air compressors at the back of the truck. Going to use solenoid valves for the controls. Temporarily, I'll just put air lines to shroud the valves on the supply. Uh, <clears throat> keep me going till Christmas, run the truck again. And then I say, I'll get the air system installed at Christmas. And then the next project's going to be the rear suspension, which is going to be a four link with a a, uh, a track bar um, use exactly the same springs um, so that will be probably the end of February time so hopefully uh, yeah we'll patch this together as, as one video and get it posted thank you right so it's uh, Friday so this has taken five days of what should have been three days and the reason it took a lot longer is it turned out the uh, radius arm mountains that I've got from one up half road which are actually very good didn't work because the angle was wrong um, these radius arms actually where they join the chassis they come in at about 15 degrees um, so they go up slightly which is fine but then they come in this way so when I connected it it uh, there was a bind uh, I might have been able to get away with it, but I really didn't want to, so I thought I'd reuse them. So I'll show you the new brackets in a minute. But this is finished now. Um, the only thing I haven't done is the uh, sway bar isn't connected. What I'm going to do is I figured I could actually switch this link the opposite way around, weld in some tabs at the bottom, uh, and that would give me the sway bar reconnected. But I'll do that in a few weeks. Uh, don't really need the sway bar for the driving I do it, but uh, I'll get it installed later. The bracket itself uh, fitted fine, no problems with that. It's got five bolts fastening it to the chassis. The shock mount worked fine, um, two bolts mounting that to the chassis. And then the um, brake hose is bolted to the side here. So everything seems to work fine. The thing that took the time was the lower mount. I'll show you that in a minute on for the other side, which I haven't done yet. Uh, needed a lot of fine adjustment to get it to fit right because um, when the suspension is down, uh, obviously the, the axle is pointing this way and when it's up it's pointing that way. So it's a bit of a fine balance between the two. And obviously you also need to show, show you've got enough clearance around the bag. Uh, when it's fully compressed, I've got about half an inch at the top, which is about as close as I think anyone dare go. So all in all, this kind of worked, worked okay. And say the reason it took a lot longer was the uh, bracket for the radius arm. So if you have a look around here, I'll show you the radius arms, um, the radius arm brackets. So, so these are the one up path road ones, uh, great product. Um, but the problem was where this is, you can see this is kind of uh, perpendicular to the chassis. Actually, it's slightly out, move back a bit. It's slightly out. Um, the one I needed for the radius arms actually needed to be like this. So here's a rip off <laughs> that I made um, and that was what took the time. This is one for the other side. And as you can see, the angle is very steep. Um, so this took, took ages. Um, I couldn't bend it because I don't have the equipment to do the bend, but uh, you know, they'll, they'll look pretty close and I can reuse it it's for the rear. Um, so these are all fitted on the right side. Um, the bracket, this is the lower mount and you can see it's a really weird angle with a few strange cuttings on it um, these had to be positioned so you can get the nuts on top and bottom which were really awkward uh, so that's why it took so long hopefully the other side now everything's made i know how it all fits up uh, it should take me just a day to get the other side done um, but yeah anyway that's it uh, i'll do another video when the truck's up and running and we can uh, I can show you how it's uh, how it's working. Uh, I did end up with about eight inches of travel, eight and a half inches of travel. At the moment, I've got the stock shock on. This is the shock actually, was, which was for the front, mounted in the rear position. That's only temporary, um, but I'll put a Bilstein shock on. It will be a 13 and a half inch compressed, 
and it'll have eight and a half inches of stroke. So that should work out fine. At the moment, the cable, the hose for the uh, airbag is just to a shroud valve. I'll do the same for the other side and then that'll be fitted to the, to the compressor with the pair of solenoid valves. So anyway, thank you.